What's up, athletes? Welcome back. You know that choosing self-care is not being selfish. Now, as a parent, I sometimes trip out in this space too, thinking that if I self-sacrifice, then I'm showing my kids that I love them. So by putting myself last, I'm serving everyone else around me at the highest level. Now, that's the thing is, I don't want them to model that. I don't want them to have kids later and feel that they also need to self-sacrifice in order to show their kids that they love them. You know, when we're on a plane and we're about to take off, they always remind us that should an emergency arise and the oxygen masks drop, we have to always put it on ourselves first before serving others, even if we are traveling with young kids. Now, why is that? Well, athletes, when our cup is full, when we are feeling content and when we're feeling that we've fulfilled everything in our desires, we're able to then show up as our highest self. We're able to serve and impact others around us much more powerful than we ever could if we place others first. Remember that self-sacrifice breeds feelings of resentment and frustration and only gives us expectations. So athletes, if you are here today, then congratulate yourself for showing up for you, for making your self-care non-negotiable. Remember that the more we serve ourselves, the more we can serve others. So if you are new here, go ahead and subscribe so that we keep training together. Then maybe tag an accountability partner or someone that you want to work out with so that you have that person to push you anytime you need to. All right, today we're doing a four minute killer back workout. This is a no stop workout is also a wild card workout. We're working for 60 seconds through four different exercises. I'm going to show you your first one. Then you're going to look up here to check out what's coming up next. All you're going to need to follow along today is a mat and then option to use an elastic tubing or to go ahead and grab a medium weight pair of dumbbells. You'll have the option for both. So I'm going to show you your first exercise. We're going to start with the elastic tubing or if you don't have the elastic tubing, you're going to follow along with just the dumbbells. So your first movement today without the elastic tubing is going to be a bent over row. So starting with your feet around your shoulders, you're going to push the knees out, keep that back nice and stable, lean forward, and then just pull the weights in a neutral position to the chest. Now, you want to make sure that you're not arched forward or that your shoulders are not rolled in. All right, now, if you have the elastic tubing and you want to follow along with me, go ahead and grab it. I also have this here. This is a band just to have as an alternative option for you. And so you're going to sit up right here. You're going to place the little tube around the feet. If you bring your legs wider, you have more tension. You're going to sit upright, bring the shoulder blades back and down, and then now pull the elbows all the way in the back. So readjust here, find that best position for you. And again, we're working for 60 seconds and then switching right away. So are you ready in three, two, one, and go. So keep that back straight. You're going to pull for just a couple seconds here. Notice that I bring the weights nice and slow, back with control. That's it. Elbows back, shoulder blades back and down. Exhale on the effort. Inhale as you bring the arms forward again. That's it. Continue to relax here. You got this. Good work, athletes. Stay strong here. Nicely done. And so as we stabilize the back and strengthen the back, this undoes some of that effect of gravity that we oftentimes see when we're sitting at a desk for so long and we have that shoulder pain and that neck pain. So really important that if this is not a part of your training, that maybe to integrate this in, we're we're working for only four minutes today. So certainly something that we can all fit in. All right, and three, two, one, and break. All right, great. Now let's go ahead and flip over onto the belly. Grab your elastic band. And now we're going to do a pull down with our band. So if you don't have an elastic tube, you can go ahead and just follow without anything at all. And now just pull that band apart as you keep that Superman position and then bring the elbows down to the heels and just create a little bit of tension here between the arms. So again, pulling that band apart so that you have a bit of a tension between the arms and then again move with slow controlled movements exhaling and inhaling on every single rep 
squeeze the glutes, maybe lift up that low back just a bit higher. I know, I'm feeling you. Good work, we got this. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and break. All right, let's go ahead and stand up. You're gonna grab now just one dumbbell and come back into that forward position. And now you're gonna curl and then press as you are bent forward. And just remember just to pull that shoulder blade back and down as you're going through the movement. Just reinforcing that control. That's it, athletes. I feel you. You got it. Good work. That's it. Stay here with me. Nicely done. That's it. Pull all the way up. Continue to breathe here. Shoulder blades back and down. Push the knees out. Stabilize with the low back. And then press up overhead. Good job. All right, now we're gonna stand here. We're gonna do two curls and then fold forward. Then you're gonna go ahead and row twice. So two curls, squeeze the glutes in the top and then bend forward and then row. That's it. So we're just continuing to fatigue the biceps here so that as we're rowing, we're maybe using a little bit less biceps and really forcing that back to dominate a little bit during the movement. But wanna really make sure we're staying in control. So move slowly. And as you stand, just think about pressing against the floor to stand. So as you would in a deadlift position. Good job. That's it. Push those shoulder blades back. Let's go, come on, 10 seconds. Stay in control here. Don't rush the movements. Five more. Three, two, one. And clean it up and break. Good work. Nicely done, athletes. High five. Congratulate yourself on putting your self-care first all the time, knowing that it'll only impact everyone else around you in the way that you would like it to. Remember, athletes, go ahead and repeat one more time if you have it in you, or check out the other video I have linked for you at the end of this one to complete today's, today's training. I love to hear from you, so comment below. How was this for you today, and what else would you like to see? If you've liked it, give me a thumbs up, and then remember, if you're new here, to subscribe so we keep training together. All right, now let's go refuel, rehydrate, and let's meet up in our next one. You've got this.